Good morning, this is Betty. I'm going to show you another money saving tip on how I do my sausage because I always like to keep some cooked ahead of time so I can have it for breakfast sandwiches or anything I'm going to need it for. But anyway, when I buy sausage, I usually buy several rolls and I put it in the freezer. This is frozen right here. I put it in the freezer because if I don't, I don't get it cooked when I should and I sometimes let it get bad in the refrigerator. So I don't want it to go bad. So I freeze it and I'll show you how I cook it. I take it out of the freezer, take a knife and cut these little metal things that's holding together off. You don't want them on there. Then I lay it in a plate and stick it in my microwave. Anyway, I put it in the microwave for about Oh, let's see. 123 seconds. Let me turn it on. I guess a minute and 23 seconds. Anyway, I put that in the microwave for like a minute and 23 seconds. And then I turn it on. When it gets through, I'll take it out and I'll show you what I do with it then. about to fall okay after I take it out of the microwave I take a knife and slice it it's still just a teeny tiny bit frozen but it will slice really really good but I just slice it in little slices it's cheaper to buy it like this and slice it yourself than to buy it already sliced and this is perfect to have in your refrigerator it'll keep for several days and you can make breakfast sandwiches if you're in a hurry or whatever you want put in your scrambled eggs it's always cooked and ready to go this is what I do with mine it's a very very good money saving tip because I do know sometimes we buy our meat and stick it in the refrigerator and don't get it all used up and it goes bad now I'm going to take and cut the plastic off of it When I get through, I'm going to have a bunch of little sliced sausage. There. Now I'm going to put it in my skillet. It's still just a tiny bit frozen, but it'll be okay. It'll still cook okay. Get my burner on. Or you could go ahead and put this in a bag and put it back in your freezer, but I don't. I just go ahead and cook it all up. And I'll have it ready when I need it. One pound will fit in this skillet. Really good. This piece. So I'll put it in there just like that. And fry it. And when it gets fried, then I can keep it in the refrigerator in a baggie until I'm ready for it. But that's all there is to it. That way you don't have no waste. It's solid, it's frozen, you don't have to worry about it, and it's really quick to take out and fix it in your microwave, just like I did. So, you have a blessed day, and I hope that'll give you some good ideas of what to do with your meat when you get home with it, instead of just leaving it in the refrigerator. Thank you. If you like my video, please subscribe and hit the notification button, and you'll be notified every time I make a new one. Bye.